Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Mary Ella and my channel is Mary Ella's This and That. Um, today we are going to be making dog treats. My dog ran out of treats and instead of buying them, I decided I would make them. I've never done this before, so we'll learn together. So let's get started. You're going to need a bowl, two and one third cup of flour. I'm using oat flour, one teaspoon of baking powder. The recipe calls for one small apple cored and grated, but I'm going to be using applesauce. A half a cup of pumpkin puree, not um, you want to buy the pure pumpkin, not the pumpkin pies um, in a can. You want to buy the pure pumpkin. Um, one large egg and a half a cup of water. I will not be adding the water because I'm using the apple sauce, so we'll eliminate the water. So, in this, you want to whisk two cups of flour, the baking powder, the applesauce or apples, whichever one you're using. The pumpkin. and the egg. Does your dogs eat treats? My dog, if, if there was nothing else, he would eat all the treats. He wouldn't care if he had food, he just want treats. It's kind of funny. In the morning, I have to bribe him to go outside. I have to give him a treat to get him to go outside when we get up in the morning. Because he don't want to go outside. You want to preheat your oven to 375. Mine's already preheated. Okay. It smells good. And as you can see, 
these are all homemade ingredients or natural ingredients. There's no preservatives or nothing. Um, when we get done baking them, you put them in an airtight container and they will last up to a week. You can leave them on your counter. Um, if you put them in the refrigerator, they will last about eight days. Okay, my battery is not wet wet, so I don't think I need that third of a cup of flour, but I am going to dust my counter and my rolling pin. Well, it's a little sticky. Maybe we will put some of this flour in here so it's not so sticky. Because it'll stick to my rolling pin. Seems like the more you work this, the stickier it gets. We're going to try this. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on my hands to see if that will get it to stop sticking to them. Okay, if you use the applesauce instead of the apples, you're going to probably want two and a half cups of flour because the applesauce 
makes it really moist and sticky. Okay, I think we got it workable now. <coughs> it didn't say how thin to roll these out. I guess it depends on... How thick you want your dope stove treat to get to be. But I think they will rise in the oven because they got the baking powder in them. So. Hold on, let me wash my hands. Oh, much better. They don't feel like a ooey gooey sticky mess. Hmm. Oh well. I used to have a uh dog bone cookie cutter, but I don't have one. So today, we are going to be using our Christmas cookie cutters. And I think I'll make him little stars. Oh, maybe I need to flower my cookie cutter. Okay, well, it ain't going to be stars because I can't get the dough out of the star. Christmas trees it is.
So when you get your cookies, when you get your cookies done cut out, then you want to put them on parchment paper lined cookie sheets. Here, I'll bring you guys back when I'm done cutting out the cookies. Okay, guys, I'm back. My first batch is in the oven. Um, I gave up on the cookie cutters. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a sharp knife. And I'm cutting out little squares big enough for my dog. My dog don't care if they're in a design or not, just as long as he gets a treat. <coughs> so, that's what I'm doing. I'm just cutting. And when you bake these, you bake these at 375 for 30 minutes or until crisp. And then I'll bring you back when I take this batch out of the oven and put the next batch in. Well, welcome back, guys. Um, the treats are done. I went ahead and made another batch. This second batch, I made, um, get down. Oh, no. You weren't supposed to get two. I went ahead and made um, substituted peanut butter for the pumpkin. So, he got, he's got a whole big plate full of treats. Now, he's down there. He's sitting down there playing with. But he's already had one because I wanted to make sure that he liked them. See? Where's your treat? Is that your treat? You better get them treats. You better get your treat. You got your treat? Hey, you eating them? Eat your treats. Show the people you like them. You like the treats? You better get them treats. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, I already gave him one, and he ate it right down. So, and he always plays with his treats before he eats them anyway. Um, I want to thank you all for coming. Remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Doesn't cost you nothing and it helps me out immensely. And remember, don't forget your four-legged friends come this holiday season. They like treats too. So if you're making cookies and stuff, make a batch for them too. And remember, don't let anybody take your sunshine or your smile. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.